Hey guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday, that means we're using ULCs. So I did update it the deck to the best ability I can update. Of course, I can't put in the third rota, which this deck will definitely love another rota because Dark Griffin and I'm getting that are very key players in this deck. Being able to go ahead and send our various level of Dark Monsters to the graveyard uh, and be able to prepare for our XC plays. So as you guys know, this deck isn't the best of the decks on um, on. Uh, vitamin Y here, you know, it, it it takes a while to set up and it can easily get shut down. This is one of the key reasons I, uh, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of this deck, but um, I'm still gonna continue trying. You know, I, I when it when it when it does well, it does really well. But then you know, when I when I try to do some of my plays and I just get completely hindered, then that's when shit hits the fan and shit just sucks butt. So. You know, hopefully we can uh, go ahead and uh, hopefully do well in this duel. We're going to deck that uh, has 45 cards, 15 after that. It's not too terrible. Not too terrible, but still kind of just meh, really. Uh, I'm going to drop the Phantom of Chaos. I'm thinking about it. It's between Phantom of Chaos or Level Eater. Yeah, Phantom of Chaos. Especially since I have Masculine in my hand. If I didn't have Masculine in my hand, I probably would have dropped the Level Eater, but yeah. <sighs> so yes, I put the soul charge in. When this deck can also really benefit from soul charge. So, just like uh, using uh, a message in the bottle, soul charge. Oh, at least message in the bottle is still at three. I know a lot of people are thinking like, why the hell would you run message in the bottle when soul charge is at three? But you know, definitely now there's a pretty big difference now. So that's pretty good. Uh, all machine type monsters on the field gate two hundred attack each time I pay them. Just try to place the Jonas Clown if you soon as I get to one. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess. Kinda kinda anticlimactic there. I really thought he was gonna pull off some awesome ass play. So In fact, I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna do a, a double play. A double play here. I'm gonna not only summon mass command and summon back you bell and have you bell in the field, but uh you know, if everything goes fine, I'm planning on going into a King of Fire limp, so I can go ahead and, uh, sorry if I'm guessing it's fine. So I can go ahead and, um, search for another Masked Chameleon, of course. Because you know how good Masked Chameleon is in the stack. Actually, I can actually go Metal Reflect Slime and summon and actually get XC into, like, a Gingrid or Gustav match right now, but it's not totally necessary at this current moment. Um, I'm attacking your monster, you gonna fucking do anything, or your computer is lagging so damn hard that you can't even respond to my movements? I mean, and not everybody has the best of computers. Uh, I don't like the idea of leaving that on the field. This card attack is... Oh, this card attack is machine monster you can chill with now. Uh, cannot be sure, but I don't want to call this just have that one since I can't make it out. Castell? Are you in here? Yes, you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into Castell. I'm gonna put that back because not only do I not want you to get a search off, but also I don't want you to have another four in the field. So I'm gonna go in Castell. I'll spin you back to the deck. Yeah, I want to. I, I kind of ruined my plans. I wanted to go for the King of Fire and get that plus on, but no. One, you're a you're level four. B, you have like this whole search when I'm destroyed. So no, thank you. You you can just go back. And also your little machine assembly. Wow, you just straight up quit. All right. Like it wasn't even that serious, dude. You still had place. Still had place. I'm gonna assume that you just DC'd and that you didn't quit. That you you, you you lost connection with your computer and that you wanted to give me a good duel, but you just lost connection, so I'll accept that. But if you're quitting because Castell spun your one little monster, it's not even that serious. Sure, I'll go first, I guess. Okay, that's not too terrible. So go ahead and drop. Yeah, you bell. <sighs> yeah. Say, so, wait, is it for Gregorian? Yeah, it is, because it's the pendulum. I'm still not 
100% used to it. I just look like I got banished, yeah, I just look, it's just, it went so smoothly, it's like, wait, did I just banish? But no, your banish is up here. Oh. Oh. The card that we never got. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, we uh, voted on it and it didn't win. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious that it didn't win. Hilarious. We, who did we get? The fucking uh, box. This card is added from your deck to your or gave it to your hand except by drawing you could add one. Okay, that's fine. Plus so hard. Yeah, we got uh, that one magician guy. That's cute. So you can go auger into the box and the box into auger. So yeah, I, I see. That's cute. That's cute. It's not disgusting, but still. Ew. Ultimate Nightmare. Oh, I can go with the exact same play that I was planning on going with last turn, since some odd reason my opponents love keeping Armageddon Knight alive, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that, so. Fuck. I guess I'll go ahead and go with the same exact play. What I'm afraid of is him going, like, you know, summon Augur, Augur search for, like, Accelerator, Special Summon Accelerator, you know, XC into something, that's what I'm afraid of, because, uh, he's like, oh, yeah, you, you know, you can't have a special summon any others except for machines, so you're just gonna special summon accelerator, and then go ahead and fucking, um, and fucking summon accelerator, then XC into, uh, gear guy Dax, and just plays like that, just fucking plays like that, just not what I'm into. All right. I had an idea to him. That was a pretty cute play that he did there, though. I didn't, I, I didn't, a, I didn't even know that whole little card guy was even a card. You plus pretty hard. You're definitely up on resources. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you're gonna do the same play, you're gonna go gear gear auger, summon, search for that guy in the box, box, search for another auger. Or you're gonna go with the play that I think you're gonna do, which is gear gear auger, uh search for accelerator the yeah. accelerator special summon XC into gear guy and X. Right? You cannot spell summon except for machine time monsters. Okay, well at least I have to its effect is negated. So, so he doesn't have to worry about like 101 or Castell or something. So that's why if he wants to go ahead and go with that play, worst I have to worry about is Gearganix. How much attack does Gearganix have? 20, 20 something. I don't think it's 24. Uh, what is this? trying to think. I, I can't remember. I think it's 23. I think it's 23. I'm not a big fan of Gear Gear, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> Alright, so I set the Moral Attack. That's fine, I guess. Besides, you still got cards up in your hand. Glory, you got seven cards in your hand. You got some plays, man. You got some plays. Are you trying to figure out how you're going to deal with your bell right now? Or is that like an MST or a Malevolent Catastrophe or something like that? Double Cyclone? I don't like how Double Cyclones rely on your opponent. I don't set a lot of back row in this deck, so, so that's Double Cyclone. It's going to suck, you know, because he has to pop one of my cards as well, so and I'm not going to give him the privilege of being able to pop one of my cards as well. Nor do I have anything to set anyway. Like, okay, well, thank you for allowing me to get off freaking my, my shit. Thank you for allowing me to get my plays off. Like, I love when I'm able to get my plays off. It makes me happy. 
it, it, it makes me happy. Well, I can summon a wizard, and the wizard can go ahead and tribute itself for a galaxy queen's life. That sounds fine to me. Sounds totally fine to me. I would love to get a galaxy queen's light. I'll be useful later in this duel. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and attack. You wanna go ahead and malevolent catastrophe or whatever the fuck you wanna do? Go ahead. What'd you do? Set the box? Oh. Sanctum. Okay. Sanctum. Summon who? Regla talk? Moral talk. Moral talk. Okay. Okay. Sure. I did not know that was going to be Sanctum. Oh, cool. Alright, go ahead. He must have really wanted to protect this monster. Well, it's two morale talks. I can't believe they didn't hit the artifact engine. That's like one of the dumbest things that they missed on their damn ban list. Is not hitting this damn artifact engine. I just sent them morale talk, sent them morale talk, sent them morale talk. Like, Alright. OCG did it. It's not very often that I say that OCG did something right in comparison to TCG, but... This is clearly one of those times. Uh, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Okay, so he's gonna add the box, and the box is gonna add the fucking thing again. Okay. I still don't get what you're gonna do. Yeah, you're just gonna exceed into Gear Guy next? It's you know, really the only thing I can think of. Can't think of any other rank four machine. Exceed into Gear Guy next, right? Yep. Shocked. It was 23. Right. Good for me. Mm -hmm. Ah, <sighs> just trying to think what plays I can do right now. I already know that's a moral talk. He is just searching the shit out of his deck. What the fuck are them boxes supposed to do besides just search for your own shit? Yeah, okay, search too much. Oh, no reverse, okay, well that's cool. And that, that opens up my my plans a lot more. A lot, 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 lot more. Ah, oh, I hate drawing you. My kingdom for getting you out of my damn hand. Ah, I'm thinking about just saying fuck it and just crashing. Before he tries to go into a play to get rid of my Ubel, I don't think I'm, I, I might as well take the damage. I'm at perfect 8,000, thinking that it might just be best just to take the damage on the chin. Still debating on that, though. Uh... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Go ahead and take the damage on the chin. It, knowing his deck, he'll probably have a very hard time getting rid of Terror, so... Yeah. Castell is gonna be a jerk, but, you know, with him playing his damn Augur, he can only summon machines, so I don't have to worry about that. <sighs> Double Eater. You know, I need to get you in the graveyard anyway, so... Go ahead and attack. I'll take the 21. I'll get that effect to summon Terror. There's no point in me setting the limit reverse right now. At this current moment, so. I guess I'll just take the real slow and end. So, you can summon one gear your level 3 or lower. Okay, well, at least you can't summon Augur Man. Don't have to worry about that. Effect. <sighs> Alright, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do after this. Of course, you guys know it's kind of hard to deal, do plays with Terra on the field, so I'm going to have to debate and figure that out. 
I kind of took that damage to the chin, but I, I'm assuming that it's fine right now. I'll be okay. Still has six and drawing into seven cards. I still know this is morale talk. I'm not really worried about that. If he wants to pop my terror, then more power to you. I'm just summon ultimate. So the biggest card I'm worried about right now is Castell. But I'm just not completely sure his deck can whip out Castell like that. Debatable. I mean, if you ever get to, uh, one of the cool plays I can do, if something happens, I can always go Max Million and back level Eater and make an Armighties. And, you know, Armighties is not bad, so. I guess for right now, I'll take the duel slow, level Eat up, tear, until I get it nice to a nice level that I want, so I can mold with it. And just tear is like molding clay. Just pick off a level 1, chisel a level off. Until I find the perfect level that I want to go ahead and go with my plays. Which actually might be next, just this upcoming turn. Especially since I have it, I think I might just go level eater, eat a level up your bell, drop to 11. I mean, to 10. Summon Galaxy Wizard, super chocolate, but oh no, Morale Talk. That's right, um, oh, Soul Charge, well, that once again opens up a lot of fucking plays. Like, a lot of fucking stupid plays. Forgot about the goddamn, uh... Yeah. Your opponent cannot activate spells or traps in response to the effect, so if I go effect white, then it starts a separate chain, so it would come back and smack me in the fucking face, so. No, thank you. Uh, oh, I have that play. Yes, I can go Galaxy Wizard, make you 8, level eater, eat on level off of Galaxy Wizard, drop you to 7, Galaxy Queen's Light, make you both 7, Draco Sack, Draco Sack Effect, Detach, Pup, My Terror, get Ultimate Nightmare, and then I'll have a Draco Sack and an Ultimate Nightmare. Plus still a lot of cards in my hand, so that sounds pretty damn good to me. Effect to become level 8, level eater, effect. Galaxy Queen's Light, all seven. I'll relay these two into a, of course, a Draco Smack. We will then get its effect. Oh, okay. Well, of course, you got a fucking another one. That's cool. Mm hmm. That's cool. Cool story, bro. Of course, you got another one. Of course you fucking do. Of course. Of course another fucking sanctum. Another one. Ah, why didn't they hit that shit? Stupid fucking TCG Konami. Why did you not hit the fucking artifact fucking engine? Why? There's no reason to keep that shit up, but... Whatever. I guess I'll just go ahead and go end phase effect. Wipe your monsters. Damn, I wanted to go Draco Sack Effect and destroy my turn and get an ultimate item. I thought that play was going to be pretty damn unique. Nope. Fucking Sanctum. Again. It's a entire fucking Sanctum jumping out the bushes and stabbing me in the damn butt. A fucking trap spot removal like that is getting fucking ridiculous. At least I don't have to worry about it anymore. At least I shouldn't have to anyway. But now I gotta figure out some other way to get fucking ridiculous there. It's gonna be very, very, very difficult. Oh wait, no it's not. No it's not. I got a fucking easy ass way to get a fucking soul charge. I can just soul charge and summon, uh, and make a scrap dragon. Scrap pop my terror. Pop one of his cards. Pop his monster. And I have ultimate nightmare. Seems chill to me. The only problem is, of course, you know, terror and Phila can't do that play. So I will... Just play Soul Charge. Soul Charge back. I'll pay 2,000. 2,000. You know, summon you. I'll summon you. Because I'm going to pop you. So then I can have you as a backup. Oh, your effect's not negated though. Never mind. I ain't summoning you. Fuck you. Guess I'll summon Draco Smack. Just as a 26 beater. Because I'm about to summon Griffin in my hand anyway. So. I don't even care about that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Oh, well, first let me get my summons off, so. Uh. Summon you. Summon you. Take 2,000. 
All right. I'm going to summon you. Get your damn effect. Go ahead and discard you to go ahead and send. Uh, who haven't I sent? Oh, of course, Sancto and Chaos. I need to send you. Very important that I send you. Send gate. To, of course, Scrap Dragon. Scrap effect. Target. Uh, Terror and your monster. Effect. Can't attack, which is still fine because I still went stupid, so go ahead. And I'm still sitting pretty decently. Like I said, the only thing that this deck has literally done this entire duel is just trip me up with them goddamn uh, uh, sanctums. Besides that, I've been pretty chill this duel. Terra Fulvia, what the hell could you possibly be searching for? Gear Town. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh huh. You know, you can't just go that whole set the Gear Town thing on anymore. You can't do that anymore. They actually changed that, so. We think that you're gonna go ahead and just set a different Gear Town. Monarch Storm Forest, okay, sure. Hmm. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but I guess that's fine. So I guess you're just gonna go ahead and attack my scrap dragon. No. Go ahead and kill my scrap dragon. Actually, that would make me totally happy if you killed my scrap dragon. Yep, thank you. I said you didn't really have much of a choice. So thank you, because now that allows me to use my master command. To into my beautiful castell. Back. Shuffle it back. That was cute. But my plays are cuter. Nine hundred, almost in cowboy territory. Almost. The snuggles. The snuggles are real. Of course, I couldn't activate Limit Reverse or do anything with that because, you know, masculine effects. Okay, you're gonna summon it with one less tribute? Sure. Okay. Do you get any attack from No, you don't. So you're just 2,000. So what are you gonna do? Crash into my castells and Draco's attack will hit you directly. You better have something more than that. Okay. Yeah, that was under. Underwhelming, sure. GG. Cause it's gonna go Draco Sack plane. I mean, I've got anything on me, but I'm still fucking strong. So, thank you, uh, Draco Sack, that I summoned back with Soul Charge. It's not broken at all. Yep. Soul Charge should be banned. The artifact engine should have been hit, but uh, we can clearly see those you know, pretty good examples right here in this duel. Alright, so, uh, there we go. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Good job, Deboxies. I said sometimes you just work so well and sometimes you don't so yeah soul charge is definitely really 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 broken in this deck so yeah all right so uh thanks for watching thanks for all support see you guys tomorrow using cosmic key bell thanks for watching